Welcome back to my little kitchen here in Lecce in the south of Italy. My name is Francesco and today I've got another really quick and delicious pasta recipe for you. I'm going to make spaghetti con seppioline e piselli. That means spaghetti with cuttlefish and peas. These are a traditional and well-loved combination in Italy. Cuttlefish and peas go so well together. And all I'm going to add to make a wonderful pasta dish is a little bit of garlic and some tropea onion. To make it especially nice, I'm going to do some crispy breadcrumbs which are flavored with anchovy and parsley. So it's a very simple recipe, very quick. It's going to be done in about 10 or 15 minutes at the most. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give me that thumbs up. Do leave a comment and do subscribe to the channel. And come back and follow me for more. Let's cook. For today's recipe, for one portion, you are going to need three or four cuttlefish, depending on the size. These are very small. Two tablespoons of peas. A tropea onion or red onion will do. 80 to 100 grams of spaghetti, depending on how hungry you are. A tablespoon of breadcrumbs, an anchovy and the oil that it comes in, a clove of garlic, a small bunch of parsley and some good extra virgin olive oil. The first thing we're going to do is to top and tail our onion, peel it, cut it in half and then cut it into relatively thin slices. Next we're going to slightly crush and peel a clove of garlic. Then we're going to take our cuttlefish and cut them into slices, like so. The last thing we need to prepare is a small bunch of parsley which we're going to chop finely. Make sure your pasta water is well salted and whilst it comes up to the boil, add a little bit of the anchovy oil to the frying pan, heat it through and then add half of your anchovy. Let this heat up gradually and when the oil starts to bubble and splutter, the anchovy will begin to melt and fall apart all by itself. When it does fall to pieces, we're going to go in and add just a small pinch of parsley. Let this sizzle for a couple of seconds and then add a good heaped teaspoon of breadcrumbs. We're going to stir these in, make sure they absorb all of the oil and keep toasting them until they become nice and lightly golden brown. We're going to use these breadcrumbs to top the spaghetti because this is a fish dish and of course you would never add cheese to any fish dish in Italy. Keep your breadcrumbs moving, make sure they don't burn, but make sure they get a nice golden colour. When the breadcrumbs are done, remove them from the pan, add some good extra virgin olive oil and then go in with the sliced onion and the clove of garlic. Let these fry on a moderate flame for two or three minutes. Add the other half of the anchovy and let this dissolve also. The anchovy is salty enough that it will season this dish perfectly. In the meantime, when the water is boiling vigorously, we're going to add the spaghetti and let that boil for five or six minutes. We're going to season the onion with plenty of freshly ground black pepper, stir it through, Make sure that piece of anchovy is broken up and then we can go in with the cuttlefish. These need to fry for just two or three minutes. As you can see there's hardly any oil in the frying pan. That's because we want the cuttlefish to sear and to basically steam in its own juices. After about three minutes, we can go in and add the peas.
Always remember that when you make a dish like this, it's important to toss your food in slow motion, like so. At this point, we can begin adding a little of the pasta water. This is going to deglaze the pan and to bring up all of the good flavors that we have in there. At this point we can remove the clove of garlic which has done its work and infused everything with flavour and we can go ahead and begin transferring the pasta into the frying pan. As you can see it's not quite al dente yet and that's the way you want it. You're going to add a little more of the pasta water and let it finish cooking together with all of the other ingredients so that it infuses with flavour, gives off a little starch and everything will come together perfectly. Just a few more tosses for good luck and then we're ready to serve. Of course all of the goodies are going to slide off your spaghetti when you serve it up but that's fine because what we're going to do then is spoon them all on top. Like so. Make sure to add plenty of freshly ground black pepper. A sprinkle of chopped parsley. A drizzle of your best extra virgin olive oil. And last but not least, plenty of those crispy, golden, crunchy breadcrumbs. Delicious. Make sure to mix everything through well and then you're ready to enjoy. Buon appetito.